uh, while I was acting opposite this dragon with a stick on it. So for me, it was mainly trying to kind of keep my shit together. Sorry, pardon my friend. War is afoot. Thank you for, for sharing your time with me. I'm very, very excited that you're here. Oh, we're excited to be here. I want to ask you about two words, strength and power. Uh, physically and mentally, because physically the, the heaviness of the armor that you have to wear, carrying and fighting with the swords, the weeks, I don't know, and mentally the psychology of your characters. When you did this season, how did your approach to power change, like the meaning, physically and mentally? God, that is such a good question. Matt, Matt, take it away. Well, physically I think you can speak to that because yeah. you were in the army a lot. <clears throat> I was in, in the army. In the army, in the armour a lot. Which Matt found hilarious. I did. Constantly, that I was just in this armour and I couldn't really... Which is heavy. It's really heavy and also you can't um, sit down uh, without... The first few weeks you couldn't sit down without like three... So you'd sit like in your chair like this and then people would feed you. Um, so, yeah, I mean, but no, I mean, the armour was amazing. But it does change you physically because you hold yourself a certain way. I'm quite like, I'm, my most comfortable positions are like crouched over and all that stuff. So I had to learn to sit up and look kind of like a knight, which I don't feel. Um, and what about the psychology of your experience of power, Matt? Gosh, I mean, the <coughs> psychology of power in the show is, is sort of, uh, well, it's an ever-changing beast, really, dependent on which character and which perspective you're coming on. But that's one of the things that makes, like I said, La Dragon interesting is because there's all these different power struggles and attitudes towards power. My particular psychology is one of disruption, I think, in Damon. He's not, he's not about unifying anything, he's about disrupting the natural order of things, I think. There's another very important word that's legacy in the show. Like, from George R. R. Martin to the cast of Game of Thrones, and you, you're starting, but you're creating, you're building your own legacy, and the Targaryen family has a legacy that's like, I saw the Targaryen tree, it was like, oh my God, it's yeah. so huge. How do you feel that, that weight in a positive way, not the pressure that's, oh my God. Well, I think you've just answered the question, actually. It's a really, it, it's, a, it's a pressure, but it's a good pressure. It's like being a sportsman. You thrive off those sorts of pressures. It's like doing a play that sort of, you know, there's a huge fan base and they've got a real, um, you know, appetite for the show. And we're just trying to create something original that sort of delivers all the hits that they want. I would, I would agree with that. I mean, I think that we were both fans of the original show. Yeah. So we, we feel very excited more than anything. Of course, there's pressure. Um, but I, I, it feels to me like people are excited about the show and the fans are excited to have a show, you know, as I am. I'm excited for it to come out just mm. as much as anyone is. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's, exci it's excitement more than anything. I saw some of your interviews during the red carpet of the show. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, of course. And I, it was in Comic Con too. Uh, I heard about the accident with the sword. I yeah. know. <laughs> oh, um, but I want to ask you about, and, and you mentioned it several times, how weird is it to do the, the dragon scenes? Because, and we have two perspectives riding the dragons mm -hmm. and looking at them. Mm -hmm. It's two different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, well, my dragon experience was that it was a it was a man with a stick with a tennis ball on top of the stick, um, and there was various members of cast. I, they, they shall remain unnamed, who uh, made it their mission to make me laugh as much as I possibly could uh, while I was acting opposite this dragon with a stick on it. So for me, it was mainly trying to kind of keep my shit together. Sorry, pardon my French, but um, yeah. I rode some. Yeah, you're on a plinth. You're like 20 foot in the air. You've got like uh, wind and rain coming at you. It's quite, it's quite good fun. And when you're looking at them, I mean, they give you sort of a, it's just a guy with a stick and a big head basically, but it's not an actual head of a dragon. It's just like a block, like a block with a sort of, that they've cut half of, you know, they've cut half a square off really. And then you can sort of touch it and stuff and it moves, but it's all smoke and mirrors as we say in the industry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks very much.